Okay, so today's the day. We gotta install the pig fence. We got uh, pigs coming sometime this week. I guess we gotta get a hold of the guy, but um, they should be coming and we need to get them set up. So our previous pig position or pig pen, it was over in our backyard and we're not doing that again this year. So we're gonna actually set up in our pasture here in the back. Uh, we got some nice shaded spots under these trees. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna set up, uh, we got the panels here and the fence posts over there. We're just gonna set up the, uh, the, the the actual the pen we'll do the electric tomorrow probably so we're gonna put them in here we're, we got we got I got 10 panels I should have got 12 but I got 10 we're gonna go uh, two panels on one side and one panel on the other so it'll be uh, we'll just use eight panels the reason I said I should have got 12 is because just the multiples of four or four sides I could have made three pens out of 12 anyways so in here it's really nice it's thick It'll be perfect for, you know, four little pigs to, to graze on for, you know, the first month or so of their life. There'll be plenty of shade from these, these, these trees coming down. All right, so fence is up. We're gonna go ahead and get some electric fence in here on the inside, and then we're gonna set that up. Let me go ahead and give you guys a little quick tour on the size of this thing, roughly. I mean, it's roughly 48 by 32, but you know, a little bit less because uh, it's not a perfect square. But it's really nice and shaded. It's about noon, so this is uh, where the sun's the highest. It's nice and shaded in here, and they can get some sun if they want over by the fence. We're gonna put their, their food and water over here so that it's out of the sun. And uh, we'll just be able to walk back here and dump it over for now. And uh, they're gonna have plenty of foliage to eat in here. A little bit of a shelter with that tree, hopefully. That tree's pretty much touching the ground. I gotta take the other piece that fell down. But 
This should last them a couple weeks. Once they get used to that electric, then we'll, we'll open it up for, for all this for them. All right, I'm gonna grab that electric stuff and then we'll get, we'll get jamming away at that. Okay, so we got everything we need to set up the electric and then we brought up the pig water. I gotta get a pallet to set it on so it's uh, you know, a little bit better. But it's got a big nipple on one side over here. We'll be able to check it out later. I got the, uh, the uh, battery and the solar panel and the actual fence charger. And then I um, got a bunch of these posts I'm gonna use. Use these before and they work out pretty well. And I just grabbed a bunch of them. I got a bunch more. So we'll use them for now and then uh, we'll get some more and set up some uh, later on for the, for the pigs as well. So let's just get out and get started and then uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna adjust these insulators down to where I want them for these piglets. We're gonna want them kind of low. So maybe like four inches and like eight. So I don't have to adjust them for a while. Thinking like there. So I'll go around and I'll adjust all these ones real quick and then we'll set up the electric. All right, so here's our uh, our wire. We're gonna use this uh, rope instead of like actual wire. This stuff's way easier to use and reuse. Doesn't kink or anything like that. This is what we used from last year. This should be enough, probably more than enough right here. This stuff's like 20 bucks for like 600 feet or something like that. I can't remember, it's so cheap. So the way we'll do this is we'll start at one end. We're gonna do two strands. We'll start at one end and we'll work our way on the bottom all the way around then the top all the way back around. Make one single uh, loop. So. Yeah. Sort at the bottom. We'll give ourselves a good couple feet of slack just in case we need it. And we'll just wrap this around a few times. Like that. And we'll go through and we'll just bring it all the way around. Go all the way back. All right, so we got a little left over and uh, we don't have a roller to roll this up with. Otherwise we could save it. So we're just gonna cut it. that up. We'll take this, we'll wrap it in there between the, the two of them. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we got electric all the way around. And it's uh, it's kind of low, but you know, it's not terrible. We can always adjust it as needed. We'll have to bring the weed whacker in here and take care of the some of the weeds on the uh, fence line. But, the, you know, the point of this is for them to get used to electric. They hit the electric, they go backwards because they see a fence. If they didn't have this fence here, they would just blow right through it. And then they, you know, they would never learn. So... It's pretty easy. These are about 10 feet apart or so. They don't need to be super close. And then if we ever need to tighten them up, there's tons of ways to do that. You can either just uh, grab another pole and make a tensioner 
or uh, just you know tie it off. It's pretty easy. All right, let's go ahead and put hook up this uh, electric, and then uh, we'll see what we're getting. That way people can see like things and not. All right, let's turn it on. See if we can get this uh, going. Ready? Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Kind of like tilt it down a little bit. There you go. All right, so it says 9.9, .9, so uh, we're hitting pretty hard. Uh, it doesn't hurt like anything ridiculous. Like I touch it and then, and then yeah, you know, it hurts a little bit, but not a lot. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow or the next day, before we get these pigs, I'm gonna put this wooden door on over here, and then uh, we'll pretty much be done. All Alright, so here they are, two boys and two girls. We're gonna go ahead and put them in their pen now. And uh, see how they do it.
Get him to come over here and eat. Yeah, get him to come over here so they can find the food. You need to find this water. Yeah. That's what I have to do for now.